Is this crooked? I don't know. Welcome. So today's video is kind of random. I don't really do videos related to these types of topics, but today I'm basically like customizing, DIYing, whatever you want to call it jeans. So I think Emma Chamberlain made a video about this like last summer or something where she got like fabric paint like painted it and like painted on jeans and all of that to try to like, I don't know, make them more unique. Also ignore all the photos that fell on my photo wall in the background. I still haven't dealt with them. They're still falling. I'm just too lazy to like get the tape out again, but just like ignore that and if it bothers you, just like try not to look at it. Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye. So basically today I'm going to the thrift store and buying a couple pairs of jeans because I wasn't gonna like go to like a normal store and buy jeans because jeans are really expensive. Also, sorry the lighting's really bad. I'm just using the lamp there because I'm too lazy to get my ring light out. But not only am I doing that, but because I randomly got on like DIY jean TikTok, I've gotten a ton of videos on my for you page about like people getting like the patches from like the like fabric store or wherever you get your patches from and basically they like iron them on anyway so that's what we're doing today well technically not today because i'm too lazy to like do it today so i think i'm gonna get the supplies today and then do it tomorrow yes yeah, so that was a pointless intro sorry so now skip to the little montage where we're like at the thrift store and fabric store <laughs> sorry okay we are in zikar there's my mom uh, we're going to first the thrift store, I think, and then we're going to the fabric store. I don't know, I think we went the wrong way. Also, I was worried that my skin looked bad yesterday, but of course somehow I broke out again last night and just when we thought it couldn't get worse. So anyway, just thought I would address that. So basically went to the thrift store and the fabric store and it was definitely a success. I guess I'll do a haul now because yeah. Do you want me to try on the jeans to show you what they look like? Maybe I'll do that. Here are the bags. I'll start off with the jeans and then I'll go on to what we got at the fabric store. First of all, I got these black jeans. They're really nice. They fit nicely. Both jeans were like $3, so it's a great deal. I will try them on in a second. And then I got these jeans, also $3. I was kind of surprised because they didn't have that many options and those were like the closest that I found, so I just tried them on and then I was like really surprised and they fit like really nicely because it's really hard to find jeans for me. So I guess I'll try those on real quick. Except, you know, I'm gonna do that like off camera because this is YouTube, not my OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. I'm just kidding. Here's the first pair. Okay, why do they look really ugly on camera? Or maybe they're just ugly. No, I really like the way that they're fitted. Now onto the black jeans. Wait, ready? Is that a cool transition? Probably not. But here's the second pair. They look cool. They're just classic black jeans. That's all I have to say. Now on to the supplies. So I guess we'll start off with the fabric paint. I got green, black, yellow, and blue. I'm gonna paint on the blue jeans. Blue jeans. Why? Sure. Sorry, it's a lot of noise song. Uh, that was so unbelievably embarrassing to edit. So I'm gonna paint on the blue jeans and then do the patches on the black jeans. Like they're such nice jeans, so I really hope this doesn't go well because I'm so bad at like anything arts and crafts related. Then I got some paint brushes because all of mine are ruined because I don't clean them and I just suck at art. Next I got the patches. I'm trying to go with like a red theme here. So first of all, I got these like red Converse, then this like fire car, then this rose, this motorcycle with a little like fire thing coming out of it, and then this like red record vinyl thing. Okay, that's it for the haul. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Just kidding. I feel like that joke about like pretending to end the video early is like really overused nowadays, but might as well hop on the trend. Anyway, I feel like you just don't care. I'll get to when we actually start doing it. So yeah, I'm going to start off by painting them and then while they dry, I'll do the ironing. So let's go to my basement. I have like a bunch of things in my hand right now, like the ring light, the camera, the supplies. So let's pray I don't drop it. Okay, wish me luck going down the stairs. We made it down to the basement safely with all of our supplies. So first of all, my dad wants me to put a tarp on the floor because I don't want to get paint everywhere. Second, of all, I'm gonna change out of this outfit because I do like this shirt and these jeans that I'm wearing. I actually bought these jeans for also $3 at the same place like a few months ago and they're really comfortable so I really don't want to ruin them. So I'm gonna change into some clothes that I don't care if they get ruined because obviously if I get the paint on my clothes it's gonna stay because the whole purpose of this paint is because it's meant to stay on clothes, you know, because it's fabric paint. Anyway, let me set up this tarp and change clothes, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I set up the tarp. This is the most awkward sitting position ever. I set up the tarp and, uh... 
got all my supplies. And I also changed into one of my old outfits from sixth grade. They're back to when the boys would always dress like highlighters 24 seven. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna start. These are the ones that I'm painting. And then while they dry, we'll iron the patches on to the black ones. I really hope this goes well because like the only comforting thing is the fact that if they do get ruined, it's not gonna be considered a waste of money because they were only like $3, but it's still gonna be like a waste of like a good pair of jeans if I do ruin them. So let's hope I don't because like they fit so nicely, they were cheap. And also like I see all over Pinterest, people wearing like DIY jeans and it just seems fun to like own a pair, especially since I made them. I think one of the most important things is planning ahead. If I just start painting with no idea of what I'm doing, ow, um, things are gonna go south very quickly. I wish they had more like pastel colors at the store rather than like neon, but it's okay. Let me tilt the camera in a way that you can see it. Okay, so I think that around like the pockets here, like that area, you know, I'm gonna outline it with like yellow. My goal is to try and not make it look like jeans for five-year-olds. I honestly kind of just want to put like a bunch of circles, squares, and like zigzags, you know, and then still outline the seams. Is that the right word? I don't know. I keep saying like the pockets, but I think I'm talking about the seams. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna do blue circles, green squares, yellow zigzags. Should I get like a plate so I can put it on and then dip it? I'll do that one second. New angle change. This is the most awkward angle and I'm gonna look stupid, but at least you can see what's happening on the jeans. So I got a plate because last painting video I did, somebody bullied me for just putting the paint directly onto the canvas. Take off the plastic here. Oh. This like already bought on my fingers because of course they decided to like fill this thing to the brim. I barely opened one bottle of paint and something's already been wrong. Hold on. Also, maybe instead of doing black, uh, and maybe instead of doing black squares, or not squares, uh, but maybe instead of doing black diamonds, I think I might outline each. Instead, I think I might outline each. Sorry, I'm so bad at talking. But instead of doing black diamonds, I think I might outline each shape in black to make it like pop. Shall we start? So what am I doing? Blue squares. No, no. Why do I keep saying squares? Circles. This is already harder than I thought. Okay, actually that's cool. There it is, my first shape. This is also taking longer than I thought. Like I anticipated, <coughs> I anticipated this video to be a lot shorter, but I think it actually is gonna be much longer than I thought it would be. So I might do like four of each shape. This is actually kind of therapeutic to just like draw and close, not draw, paint. But see, this is kind of a tricky thing because it's like one wrong move and you're like, you're done for. There's really no going back once you put the paint on the close. Sorry, I don't know why my brain is not functioning right now. Okay, so I think I decided that I'm going to do three on each side. What should I talk about while I do this? Oh, maybe I'll talk about the fact. So for Christmas, I asked for like, you know, the jeans with the different like patches in them and they're like kind of sewed together and they're like different kinds of denim, you know, like they have the denim patches. So I asked for those for Christmas and then my parents being super nice got them for me and they ordered them from this website that I sent them the link to because I thought it was like a small business and I thought it was gonna be like cool and all like sewn and everything. Turns out I think it was a scam and they sent me one one item and it wasn't the jeans it was these like other pants and then they refunded us like i think a little bit of our order but then just like i don't know what happened there so more of a story now i'm painting on jeans and also i can't sew for the life of me though but it would be kind of cool to buy the exact same pairs of jeans and then cut them in half and sew them together except it's kind of hard to find two like identical not identical just like similar pairs of jeans that are different colors at the thrift store so you'd have to like buy them online which is going to be super expensive because jeans are like ridiculous it's a funny concept to me that the fabric paint is more than the jeans. Like one thing of fabric paint is like $4 and the jeans were literally $3. Let that sink in. I think that if these do turn out decent, I think I'm still gonna be kind of anxious like wearing these in public because you know, people are gonna be like, what the heck happened to his jeans? Why did he like get a five year old to paint circles in different shapes on them? Wait, I don't wanna jinx anything, but I'm actually like really liking the way that these are turning out. That's it for the circles. They actually look pretty cool. So now moving on to the squares. So I've done a couple of art projects on my channel before and I'm actually getting kind of concerned that this could be the first one that actually like goes well. I know that making a perfect circle is actually really hard, but I think that making squares might be harder. What shape am I doing the stars? I can't remember. I'll have to go back when I'm editing to see what I said, but I don't know what shape I said I was gonna do the yellow. Apparently. I said I was gonna do zigzags. I think I said stars, but all I know is that I'm not doing that if that was the original plan. And I think I'm gonna do triangles. Look at that. Like, I actually really like it, but part of me actually also kind of hates it. I think I'm gonna do the triangles off camera because I have a fear of recording for too long because I have a fear of editing. So I'll see you later. So I just finished all of the shapes here. That's how they look. I think the triangles turned out kind of cool, but I really wish it was like a more like darker yellow and a less like neon yellow. So now I'm gonna like go over and just paint the seams 
and I'll see you when I make a mistake, which will probably be in like two seconds, but see ya. There they are right there. I mean, I think they're okay. They're kind of cool. Another challenge that I thought about is gonna be having to like match them with stuff because there's kind of a lot going on. But also on the ends, I put like green and on like the pocket seams or whatever it's called. And then I'll let them dry and then we'll do the patches. And then after they dry, I'm gonna outline the shapes with the black fabric paint. Okay, we back. That was so dumb, sorry. And then here's all the patches. Hopefully these have instructions on them because... So I preheat the iron to the cotton setting, apparently. Press firmly for 10 to 15 seconds. Turn project inside out. So now let me just decide where I'm gonna put each one. I'm really excited for these because I think they're actually gonna look really good. The only way that I think they won't look good is if the patches decide to like not stick. And if the jeans turn out good, I literally might do this for like all of my clothes because like literally all you have to do is buy the patches and they're not like that expensive. Okay, so I laid them out in the way that I think it'll look good with. The only thing is, seeing this all on the jeans now, the little record one, the blue, part of it is really annoying me. It should be fine. It's not like I'm selling these. You know, I'm not like a craft channel, but I think I'm gonna have to do the angle that kind of looks like a craft channel because I think you kind of want to see how this is gonna go. Or maybe you don't care. Whatever's fine. If this works out good, it's gonna look really nice. So I just iron it on. How long do I put the heat on? Crap. Does it say three to four minutes? Oh, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, and then I have to turn it inside out, so I'll take all of these off. I really hope I don't burn myself with the iron because that hurts when that happens. I'm gonna do the rest as the time lapse. I'm literally obsessed with these. Ready? Here they are. It looks kind of cool. Um, originally when I put them out on the thing to like plan out how I was going to iron them on, both sides were like that. How it was kind of like, like the diagonal kind of thing. So it's kind of weird like that. But I think when I put them on and like try to style them, I think it'll look super cool and it looks... I don't know. Now I'm gonna go finish the ones downstairs and I'll get back to you later. Okay, so it's been like five days since I filmed the last scene. I meant to film this scene that I'm currently filming right now, like a few days ago, but I procrastinated what's new. Basically, now I'm gonna try to style the jeans. I'm pretty sure I didn't even show you how the painted ones turned out. So basically, I went back over with the black and I like outlined each shape and now they, I think they look super cool. And then I also, on the pockets right here, oh, I think I already showed this, so I did on the pockets here. The only thing is the like, consistency of the paint is super like dry and I don't like the way it feels but maybe that'll change when it washes I need to look up like what to do about washing and all of that because like I mean it's fabric paint so it's like meant to stay on but will it stay on so basically I went through my entire closet and just threw a bunch of stuff on the floor that I thought could possibly match these jeans did I show the other ones no I think I did let me get them here's the other pair I think they're super cool I think first I'm gonna try doing the jeans with the patches because yeah I feel like those will be easier to style and then also another goal of this picture I don't really know what I was trying to say there about the goal of this picture. I think that meant... I think I meant the goal of this project, so yeah, ignore that. It's because I don't really post on Instagram that often, but follow me on Instagram at Enzontonio with three eyes. I don't really post that often, and then when I do, I usually delete the post like a week after. It's just a habit of mine, but I want to try to get like an Instagram post in these jeans. I have this Rolling Stone shirt that has red on it that I think could match it nicely. That right there is an option. Then I have my Nirvana shirt. Uh, uh, it doesn't have any red on it though, so I don't know how it'll look, but we can try it. Moving on to the next pairs of pants. This is them up close. I think they actually look really cool. I think that if I saw somebody wearing these in public, I would have been like, so... Yeah. yeah. Only thing is, like, there's some people who can make ugly clothing look good. For example, Emma Chamberlain. Like, basically, she can, like, get anything ugly, wear it, make it look good, and then make it a trend. I'm definitely not the type of person, which is why I feel like these jeans, once I do put them on, style them, blah, 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 this. Which, first of all, speaking of the word styling, I was showing my mom the jeans the other day, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna style them later this week and see if they, like, match any other clothing of mine. And she was like, what does style mean? And I'm like, this is not, like, a modern term slang thing. Like, you know what the word style means. And then she said, I know what the word style means, but I don't know what it means as a verb. And I was like, what? And I thought I was delusional because I was like, I mean, everyone knows what the word style means, like even as a verb. So I asked the rest of my family and they were like, yeah, we know what the word style means. So I think it's just my mom. So for this, I mean, I picked out this shirt. Why don't we start off with the worst options? It has a few of the colors that are on the jeans. So I don't know. Next option. My mom said this would look good. I have this avocado shirt. I've never worn this before, which is why it was kind of a waste of money because I thought I would wear it a lot more until I realized I'm just too embarrassed to wear it. But it has like many avocados on it. So maybe 
maybe we can try it on with the jeans. It could look, it could look okay. Next, I just have this plain black shirt, which will definitely fit. But because that's kind of plain, I could either put this thrifted jean jacket that I have like this, or I just have this like corduroy jacket to go over it. So those options could be cool. So now I'm gonna try them on and then you're gonna give me your opinion on them, even though I won't be able to hear you because like this is kind of a one-way conversation. Okay, so just an update. I found two other like tops to go with the other jeans, but I tried on the first outfit. I feel like something about it doesn't match. Like I thought it looked cool just having most of the patches like on top and not doing it spread all throughout. But now I'm kind of regretting that decision. Let me try it with like a belt. No, I genuinely don't. No, I don't like this. I tried to go with the red aesthetic and it's kind of annoying that the blue on the vinyl. Wait, what if I got a red Sharpie? That could actually work. Okay, I'm currently doing something right now that could either save everything or ruin everything. I have this red Sharpie. I think I'm gonna try to cover the blue up because it like actually messes it up a lot. This is so stressful. Like one wrong move and I mess up these jeans entirely. Okay, I'm being really dramatic. It's literally just going over like a few lines with the Sharpie. It looks more like a brown now, but now it doesn't stand out as awkwardly. That's the first time I've ever like suggested an idea to fix something and it actually fixed stuff. I mean, I think I like it a bit better now. See, my problem with this is I think that if like a celebrity who is very like fashion influenced, if that's the right word, influences fashionly, you know what I'm trying to say, but more of the story, I think that if like a celebrity wore these, I think that people would just be like, oh cool, like the jeans are nice and realize that they were like probably like homemade or like a DIY. But I think that like with my Instagram, if I posted this, people would just be like, and so what the heck. Moral of the story, I think we have the outfit combo for this selected. Do we even have another option for this outfit? I mean, we have the Nirvana shirt, but I just like know it's not gonna match. I mean, I could do my red Thrasher hoodie that you all know and love, or at least we loved it the first 700 times I wore it. That could also look good with this. Next contestant, we have these. I think this is actually kind of cool. The only thing that I don't like is this shirt. It's like a V-neck. I couldn't really choose it though. It just came for free with like some Levi's jeans that I bought like a year ago or something. The avocado shirt is cool but absolutely not. Moral of the story, I like this shirt with these jeans and then the Rolling Stone shirt with the other jeans. And I keep forgetting that the sun goes down at like five o'clock, so it's like kind of starting to go down. So I'm gonna get my mom to take some pictures for me. So hopefully that goes well because I am unphotogenic. I'll see you when we get some decent photos. Well, in that case, I'm not coming back, but I'll see you when we get at least photos. I took the pictures. They're ugly, but I posted them. If you want to see them, go to my Instagram at Enzo Antonio with three eyes. Somebody commented, where did you get those jeans? So I take that as a major compliment considering I made them. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a question before you leave. Randomly, my videos recently have been like longer than usual, like 15 to 20 minutes. So, I mean, I'm personally fine with it. My favorite like YouTube videos are around that length. Just like let me know your opinions in the comments on longer videos. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Will you sit through one? Just let me know. I won't be offended. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give it a thumbs up. I post every Tuesday and Friday, so I'll see you next Tuesday for another, for another amazing video. If you decide to like DIY jeans, like post them on Instagram and tag me or something or like send them to me because I think they're cool and I'd love to see what people do. Now I gotta clean my room. Goodbye.